I feed the baby calves morning and night. I help milk the cows and feed the chickens. That one's only four days old. She has a really good family in front of her. And Sarah has a really good family all around her and behind her. She's the seventh generation of Evie's who owns Evie Farms Bed and Breakfast. Just an hour's drive from Philadelphia, nestled in the lush fertile valley of Paradise, Pennsylvania, Sarah Evie took me on a tour to get a taste of farm life, while her baby calves got a taste of my fingers. I think these guys want something to drink. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's some suction. On the way to meet the family, Sarah took me to gather eggs for Grandmom's famous egg cheese, while the men wrestled with cows and kids in the barn. And as the gals reeled in the laundry and prepared something delicious, Michaela showed me her quilt, 18 years in the making. This farm had started in our family 200 years ago. This would have been my grandfather and his brothers and sisters. The same stones are there 125 years. So there's a lot of generations here. Yeah. The hydrangeas were planted three generations ago, and the Eby's neighbors are generations of Amish who showed up a hundred strong to rebuild their barn when it burned down. I could feel Joyce and Mel's gratitude for everyone and everything they had, even after the loss of their two special needs children. Having a child with a disability can put a real wedge in a marriage if you don't work at it. Relationships are very important for us. It's a commitment we've made to each other for life including their relationship with God. We call it a happy time when we read the Bible together, we pray together, and sing together. Now time for that egg cheese with maple syrup. This is so good. Don't you wish you could have some? <laughs> What's paradise like? Just normal, like everything else. I'm telling you. 